Hello, hello. It's Athena Sai here, owner of Holistic Mystic Healing. And today I was really called to just come on and share some information that's been coming through for me. Um, and also I pulled some cards for those who are open. I just kind of asked what the collective needed at this time and um, some pretty amazing cards came forward. So um, there has been a lot happening. Um, it feels like we're starting to kind of hit the ground running a little bit. Like we're, we're being called to um, lean in even deeper to our gifts and trusting. Um, you know, I know I've talked to some of my other friends and they're also kind of struggling with seeing the steps, the next steps for them. And we've been really called to dive within the heart and, and to bring um, that trust and that hope to be able to move forward. And I know there's been a lot of things happening around the planet that, um, you know, there's big changes that are needing to occur and there are big changes that are occurring. Um, so I just wanted to, to really share some, some light language is wanting to come through. It's been very active today since I, since I woke up and even last night before I went to bed, a lot that's wanting to be um, shared. And so with light language that I do, um, I don't always know what it means. Mo more often than not, I don't, but I know it comes from my heart. Um, my heart expands. And so this isn't necessarily meant to be deciphered. It's meant to be felt and experienced. Um, and that's a lot of the work that I do is it's experiencing uh, the energy within our bodies, experiencing our chakras, experiencing, uh, you know, working in higher realms as well as working in the lower realms of like shadows and things like that. So um, I'm just going to kind of tune in for a moment and see uh, what wants to come forward. So it's like, as I'm tuning in, it's almost like there's this swaying that's happening. It's like this, if you think of like the divine mother, like rocking her child, right? A mother rocking her child. It feels like as the collective, we are being supported in that way. Um, and it's almost like I can see people who are scattered in their thoughts, scattered in their minds. Um, they're still seeking for external validation um they're they're reaching outside of themselves and it's like the it's literally like i can see the mother like scooping up the child and bringing it to her chest um connecting with that heart of the divine mother and and being held in this time of uncertainty and in this time of growth of humanity Ariasi chia so no alamo kariasi karia so ni karia sa chia. O lono kariasi chia so moya karia lana aya so no aya kariasi chia so no ala. O minia kariasi amola aya koriasi chia sa. And I just feel that many of us are being asked to slow down a little bit more being asked to really check in with what our truth is, what our frequency is in the moment, where our mind is, where our heart is. And it's, it's like this bigger overlaying. It's like this energy that I can feel that's super grounding and nurturing. And it's like coming in through the crown chakra Sodo Korea la mia sia la na aya Korea si chia so no aya la moya Korea si chia so aya nia uya la no aya nia Korea si chia so mo aya nia sia Korea la ania ko aya sana Korea la moya la na aya so no chia si Korea la Korea aya na a moya la nia so ai definitely feeling a lot of like ancient um, energies coming from the earth. So like these beautiful, powerful, ancient um, 
it's almost like ancient civilizations like the Lemurian and the, the inner earth beings, uh, the dragon realms, like all of them, like if you can tune in, it's like this energy is coming. Um, it's like it's coming up from the earth for us to, to tune into, to tap into. Um, and as I'm asking, you know, like what, what does the collective need or how does this help the collective? And they're saying it's um, a remembering of your own soul. So as we tune into these other energy frequencies, it's almost like pieces of us unlock, right? And I've said that before, you've heard it before, pieces of us, they open and they unlock. Um, but it's like really important to get out into nature. And I know I say that too. I say this a lot, but this is, it's so simple. The things that we do to expand and to grow and to, you know, expand our awareness and consciousness, it's, it's, it is simple. It's the simple things of going in nature and, and quieting the mind and being present in the moment, right? Unplugging, um, finding those those sacred souls that are here to support you in love and instead of judgment or fear or competition it's like letting that go and being able to really truly become present in the moment so you can hear your own soul's wisdom Sono ayalania kariasi chia sono alana kariasi. So I see this huge, um, it's like a kind of reddish brown dragon. Um, and like literally, I'm seeing a dragon that is like opening up and spreading its wings. And it's kind of like positioned like the phoenix rising, right? Like, you know, it's coming up and its arms are, its wings are spread. Um, and there's just this really beautiful, beautiful being. Um, and as I'm tuning in, You know, and what it's saying is to continue to have patience, but yet take the actionable steps that are being provided for humanity to rise like the phoenix, right? Like the burning phase, you know, the destruction, the, the transformation process is the process of death. And so that's meant what we're going through. We're going through that process of death. And then we're, we're coming into this new cycle and it, it feels like our cycles have been like super, uh, fast. It seems like, at least for me, I should say for me, um, like I'm going through these cycles faster and faster. It's like, you know, in the past, it'd be like, I'd have like one like day where it was like, oh my gosh. And then it'd be like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks until I'd have another one. And now it's like, nope, you're on this upward spiral of ascension of expanding your awareness and consciousness, working with that Shakti Kundalini energy, right? It's helping to move us forward into um, this new version of ourselves into embodying the, the God or the goddess at archetypal energies that are within all of us. Um, and so it's basically saying that these cycles are coming faster and faster and, and that it's like, we're, um, what's the word they're using? Attuning or acclimating to them. They're acclimating, we're acclimating to these energies. Um, so continue to move forward, continue to do those practices. And this, this dragon energy is available for all those who feel drawn and called to work with the dragon archetypal energies or, um, you know, working within the, the earth realms um, that feels really important right now, too. Okay, so um, I went ahead and pulled cards and I just asked, like, what does the collective need at this time? And the first card that jumped out was the crown chakra. And this is literally the upgrades. This is um, a lot of people have been more tuned in to um, that golden light, that golden ray. Um, it's the Christed consciousness. And you can say um, from Yeshua or Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, even into um, Buddhism, you know, like it's kind of the same energy. It's this, it's this God source energy that's within all of us, but it's like heightening and it's becoming more prevalent. And I know a lot of the people who are the mystics and the, the earth keepers and, um, you know, the shamans and, and the, 
the light keepers as well, the light workers, like we're tuning into this frequency more and more and more. Um, and it's really prevalent on the planet. The other day I saw like all these pyramids all over the planet that were upgrading with this, with this Christed and this unity consciousness. And so we had to remember to kind of peel away the dogma, the religious dogma around that and really tune into what is the core essence behind that. And what is the core essence for me behind that is the understanding that we are divine beings of light and that that Christed energy is here to remind us that we have the abilities to change and shift our reality. We have our psychic gifts that are available to all of us. If only we can open our eyes to truly see and feel them and to start to use them to help us become aware of our greatness, right? It's not like we always have to become better and better. It's, it's, it's already within us. It's just literally, it's peeling away all the old conditioning and programming that's keeping us down, right? And, and remembering who we truly are. So with this crown chakra, it, it is our spiritual connection to the universe. It's our ability to transmute the negative energy that may be th being thrown at us, right? That we're surrounded with, bombarded by with, with everything that's happening in the world. And, and this is literally saying we have the power to transmute it. Okay, buddy, I'm almost done. Oh, that's very cool. A song. Oh, a song. Okay, why don't you go in there? I'm almost done and I'll come watch it in just a minute, okay? You can dance. Oh, he's so cute. This is real life. I am a mom. <laughs> um, so anyway, and so this is our ability to transmute the negative energies that are around us and understanding where our energy starts and where it stops. All right, and then the next one that I love that came is conception. Oh, did I show you this one? Yeah, the crown chakra. Yeah, and then the next one we got is conception. And so this feels like there are ideas that have been floating around in you. There's these little nuggets of information that have been coming, these little, um, these ideas, there are these dreams that are within you that are being cultivated right now. And so not to give up on those dreams, like what is it that you truly yearn for or you desire or you want to bring into the world, how can you be of, of service to humanity and to the planet at this time, at this huge time in, in history? Like we are being called to change and to create and to grow. And so this says the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to its art origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention, right? So this is literally, we are creating new. We are creating new. So don't give up on those dreams. Know that with that focused intention and awareness, you can make huge shifts in your life. You can do this, okay? You absolutely can. And there's so many beautiful souls out there that are guiding and helping others to, to help with that, okay? And then the last one, so don't give up on your dreams, right? The energy's coming through. The downloads are coming through. You're transmuting what doesn't need to be there. You're letting go of the negative energies. You're stepping into your power. You're, you're feeling that like conception process, right? Like that the seed is being planted, right? The seed is being planted, and then we got alchemy. Mm, look at those beautiful colors. Card number eight. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allow the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. So again, it is as, as we're conception, you know, as we're, that seed is being planted, we're being asked to, to shift what needs to be shift within us to create and to cultivate. And, and it's literally us, we are the alchemists, right? We are literally changing the way of being, right? We're moving from the paradigm of the old ways of maybe more of the masculine, um, patriarchal society and we're starting to shift into something different and so to continue to explore that process for yourself what does that mean to you what does that feel like to you what do you want to shift into right like what it's like that butterfly right literally transforming from 
a caterpillar, weird looking worm thing, to this beautiful butterfly that can literally fly. Like the the butterfly, it just it, that's what alchemy is. It's going from one thing to something um, just so beautiful, right? And each stage in that is beautiful, right? Each stage in that process, even when you're in the cocoon and you're super uncomfortable and you're rubbing up on the edges and you know you're growing, but you're kind of freaked out because you're not sure exactly how to fly yet, like trust in your wings, right? Like the great eagle, trust in your ability to fly wing to wing with spirit, okay? So I just love that these cards came out and I think it's just so beautiful. Um, so just let me know how it felt for you. Comment below what that, what that means to you, what it felt like for you. Um, and I hope that you guys have a beautiful day and I know the full moon's coming up. So make sure to go howl at the moon if you need to, or lay out your crystals or just really take time to reflect and to create your magic, right? Like this is the time, what seeds are being planted and how can you start to transmute them? How can you start to move them and alchemize them from one, from inside as just a dream to actually taking the inspired steps to make it a reality, make it your reality, okay? You have the power to change your life. Do not forget that. You you have the power. Okay. All right. That's what I have for all of you. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. And thank you so much for watching.